where the bodies of the deceased sleep in their graves, wrapped in a blanket of silence. Except one corpse that has not found a resting place. A corpse destined to... No, hang on, hang on, hang on. For heaven's sake, this isn't a horror film. No, it's a love story. A tale of devotion between two entrancing little creatures. OK, they live in a churchyard, but that's their home. And that corpse... No, it isn't going to turn into a mouse zombie or something. In fact, that little mouse's death gives life to our romance. Isn't that a lovely thought? A male burying beetle. His extra sensitive antennae have picked up an unmistakable erotic aroma. Essence of dead mouse. Irresistible. Off he hurries to claim the body. He's not going to eat it, though. No, no. He's going to convert it into the sort of desirable dwelling every female dreams of. If you're a um, burying beetle, that is. Somewhere to settle down and raise a beetle family. Now all he needs is a wife. Aha! A lovely lady beetle is close by. Surely the scent of love is in the air. Or rather the uh, irresistible whiff of rotting mouse flesh. And thus, our two love bugs are drawn together. A joyous couple with a place of their own where they can live happily ever after. Or maybe not. You see, our pair of beautiful beetles aren't the only ones searching for an ideal love nest. They saw it first, maybe, but he's got his eye on it. So what is our hero going to do? Is he going to abandon his home, or is he going to defend it? A mouse is not a home unless you fight for it. And he has. And he's won. But uh, it's going to happen again, because there's all sorts of other creatures lurking around the graveyard who have got their eyes trained on that mouse. So, what are they going to do? How about hiding it? Better still, how about burying it? Not an easy task when a mouse body weighs over 300 times the combined weight of a pair of burying beetles. Not a lot of people know that. Within minutes, an unmarked grave. A few days later, and the ex-mouse has become a cosy underground apartment. The beetles not only live in it, they eat it. And so do the babies. They have instant baby food, already pre-digested by mummy. You know what they say, beast is best. Whilst her indoors, or rather her underground, tends to the little ones, him up top is guarding his home and family. Over the next four weeks, it's not simply a matter of, oh, look, see how the baby's growing. It's also, what into? Oh, of course, yes. He's got his dad's eyes, hasn't he? I suppose every baby is beautiful to its parents. As darkness descends once more over the spooky old churchyard, the scene isn't so much one of horror as of hunger. And it's also time for the next generation of nature's undertakers to set out in search of their very own mouse house. Oh, 
Oh, they're so hard to find these days, I can tell you. There's a mouse over there, I think. <laughs> <laughs>